Hi everyone, so tonight it's another dark evening and it's raining and I'm going to do a short drive, well I say short, yeah it's about one hour, 60 miles or so, over to Farnborough to go to the Electric Drive-In Cinema tonight. Uh, Polestar very kindly sent me uh, an email to say that they were giving away some free tickets, so I thought yeah that would be a great opportunity to take the car on a, on a one hour drive and go and enjoy uh, the Electric Drive-In Cinema experience. So on this drive, I'm going to um, have a look at the range, consumption, and uh, how much electricity we use on this drive. So far, I think most of my drives have been short. I probably haven't done more than 30, 40 minutes, and I've had the car for nearly a thousand miles now. So it will be good to drive for an hour and uh, see what it's like, and then obviously tomorrow I'll be doing the same. I'll be coming back, doing the same drive, and we'll get uh, an interesting overview of the average consumption for the whole drive. So I charge up the car to 100%, and uh, you can see there on the display, it's giving an estimated range of 270 miles, which I'm sure it won't be correct. That'll come down. I've reset the trip computer so it's nice and fresh for when we go. Uh, set the preconditioning on. So I've been warming the car for about 20, 25 minutes with it plugged into the wall. So we're not using any power there. And uh, use Google to navigate. And uh, yeah, it's time to go. So let's head off and we'll see what it's like on this first leg of the journey. Okay, so we're at the electric drive-in uh, event now at Farnborough International Airport and the drive was not too bad. It was uh, really bad weather, so it was interesting to see how that panned out in terms of consumption. So 31.6 is what we got, uh, kilowatt hours per 100 miles, 60.3 miles, an average of 46 miles per hour, one hour and 15 minutes or so that took. But uh, yeah, I was pretty pleased with that actually. 31.6 doesn't seem too bad considering the weather is rarely bad. I mean, it's 15 degrees, it's not cold. That's one good thing, but the weather was really not good. Um, quite a lot of rain, the, the roads are very damp. So yeah, it's, uh, it's interesting to see that kind of consumption. Not too bad. And then we'll see what, uh, what we get on the journey back today. Uh, well, it'll be tomorrow actually, but yeah, we'll see what it averages out over the course of the entire drive. So something else worth considering, um, as you saw on Google Maps when I left, I think the estimate it was saying was 69% on arrival. Got here to um, the destination with 72%. So this is something I've been noticing is that uh, it tends to un uh, overestimate. So it, you tend to actually, from my experience of driving, get to your destination with a little bit more than what Google thinks you'll have. That's a good thing because obviously you'd rather be cautious than find yourself arriving at the destination with a significantly less energy than you thought you would have remaining. One thing that was interesting though is uh, I think we started off with something like 260 270 showing as the range I've got here having driven 60 miles and it shows 180 so it, it just shows that when you charge up the car and it gives you an estimate for how far you can travel that it doesn't know where you're going to go I guess so then you go on the motorway in, in bad weather and it quite quickly drops that range down so I did 60 miles but in terms of what it thinks I did I lost um more like uh, 80 or 90 on its estimate for the total range available uh, yeah, just uh, a little thought on what it was like to park up for a few hours and spend some time in the car doing something. Um, I actually ended up turning the climate control off because it was warm enough in the car without having to use any energy. And uh, that just shows how well insulated the whole vehicle is. Like even with the glass roof at the top, 
it's 15 degrees outside, but I was comfortable with no heat. And uh, I think I lost about 1%. Okay, so I'm in Guildford now, staying at a travel lodge, a nice luxury place to stay just for the night. And uh, yeah, look at this. So a very short journey to get over here, like 18 minutes driving. But uh, the trip computer is still running from when I left home this morning, uh, this evening even. And uh, we've got 35.5 kilowatt hours per 100 miles. So that's, that's reasonable. It's gone up a little bit because we were parked up at the event. But look at the average speed, that's 16 miles per hour. And that obviously is time-based, so things we were going for five hours and five minutes just to travel 74 miles, giving quite good consumption, relatively speaking, but a very low average speed. So yeah, just it, it looks weird when you park the car up for a while and you get those kind of numbers. Okay, so we're ready to go, an early time to head back and uh, finish what I need to do now in Guildford. So the route I'm gonna take back today is uh, 52 minutes, time-wise 44 miles. And uh, you can see, yeah, estimating 37% battery on arrival. So um, having had a look on the screen at what it's suggesting, um, that's gonna be A3 and M25. So it would be 10 minutes slower if I did it the cross-country way. That was my original plan actually, was to go is to go via Horsham, because um, that's normally the better option to go cross country. Let's see what that says. Yeah, that's one hour and four minutes. So actually it's a lot worse. So I should just take the quickest way, which would be basically back the way we came yesterday. So that's cool. Um, we got 140 mile range, it says, and 62% uh, battery on leaving. So yeah, let's, uh, let's head off and see what it's like on the way back. And we'll uh, add up the total of the consumption figures and uh, We'll see what that comes up to at the end of the video. Okay, let's go. That drive um, and the total distance driven there was 43.8 miles with an average of 35 kilowatt hours per hundred miles where the conditions were quite bad so there was a lot of rain and uh, temperature about 15 degrees so yeah 43.8 uh, miles and 35 kilowatt hours per hundred miles so let's just work out some numbers and uh, figure out what that averages out to for the entire round trip <laughs> 